Tonight, coming to you live from his own coma, performing for a completely imaginary studio audience. He just wants to wake up now. Please, God, somebody help him. It's Jordan Brooks! Hello, hello, hello. Well, folks, looks like I'm still here, so tonight we've got another fantastic episode for you. I am trapped and very scared. <laughs> so what's the deal with comas? You spend all day lying around doing nothing. <laughs> and then you get into a coma. <laughs> One day, you're just living your life. And then the next, you're wishing literally any of your friends would come visit you. And then you get into a coma. <laughs> you know when you're in a coma and you have no idea how you got there? <laughs> and then you get into a coma. No, that one doesn't work. <laughs> All the best. Nope, fair enough. Let's catch up with my sidekick and very best friend, Sunil. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello. I can't keep doing this. What? I've got to get out. Jordan. <laughs> you know it doesn't work. Yeah, fair enough. I just want to wake up. Look, you're imagining all this, so make some fun stuff happen. Yeah, but it's hard to... I don't know, it's hard to control. Why? Is there anything specific that you want? Big dick. Eh? Big dick, please. S straight in with that, you want a big dick? Yeah, but, like, an alarmingly big one. Like, functionally bad big, like a proper goblin. Like a real nasty boy. You want a nasty boy? All right, let's give it a go. Anything? No. 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 Yeah. No. No. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Hit it. Oh, what? What the fuck is that, Jordan? Uh, I think that might be my childhood teddy bear, Paul. And let me just get a look see. Yeah, I, I, I think the breasts, I, I, I'm going to say my mum's. How do you know they're your mum's breasts? Because her son never forgets. That's gross. Any news on the big dick? Oh, come on, man. Just get through this show. Oh. If you put on a good one... No. You might wake up. I can't do it. My brain always... does titty bear things. Try doing one more show. For me. OK. OK. On with the show. Next, it's our late night phone in. Let's see who's on line one. Hello. Oh, Jordan, it's your mum. I know it's stupid to leave these messages, but it feels like you're still with us when I call. I miss you, son. So, so much. Oh, your little face when they pulled you out of the wreckage. <laughs> OK, thanks for your call. Wait, wreckage? That's how I got into a coma. I was being a boy racer. But you can't drive. All right, I was being a boy... Passenger. Boy passenger. Just a boy in a car. <laughs> Line two. Hello? It's Sunil. Look, I know things weren't great with us, <sighs> but uh, I wanted to let you know I'm, I'm thinking about you. Uh, I'll come visit soon. Cheers. Why are you so mad at me? I don't know. That's, that's the real Sunil. I, I'm your dream, Sunil. So you don't hate me? Bro, we are best friends. Mm. Hello? Prick. 
Right, well, we're going to be right back after this break. No, OK. Oh, it looks like we are joined by a celebrity guest. It's Debbie McGee. <laughs> from... Magic. From Magic. Hello. And can I say, I'm already having a really nice time. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> Me too. So, tell me about Strictly. You always had so much potential. It's like Mrs Gilmore. It was an anniversary gift. Oh. All right, never mind this. We don't have time for this. Let's just crack on with having a lovely show so that I can get out of here. Debbie, you are a classically trained ballerina. Uh, how long can you stand on your tippy toes? This briefcase was an anniversary gift. Uh... What happened? <laughs> it was an anniversary gift. What happened, Jordan? Oh. What did you do? Mm, okay, okay, okay. When I was when I was fifteen, Mrs. Gilmore, my English teacher, she left the room, and I shook up a bottle of lemonade and I threw it at the briefcase, and the briefcase slammed shut and then swung around <laughs> in a perfect one eighty. And then the bottle audibly exploded and went everywhere. And if it hadn't been such a horrible thing to do, it would have been one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I'm sorry, but... Wow. It was an anniversary gift. <laughs> Hello? Prick. I just like a laugh. What's happening now? I think the nurse is giving him a sponge bath. Oh. Yeah, it won't take long, Debbie. Just, just give me a minute. No, oh, just onto the legs. Ah, just a minute. Won't take long. Just a sec. Oh, right, we'll be right back after this break. <laughs> no, OK. Sunil, this is going badly. It's going great. You've got everything under control. No, I really... F oh... No, no, no. So, Debbie, what is your top ten anything? Um, mangoes, um, a spontaneous okay. holiday to Lanzarote. I don't remember booking or going on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Dining and dashing at McDonald's. A Kindle with nothing on it but the Bible. Watching a radiator bleed after stabbing it several times. Uh -huh. A wedding where I mm -hmm. don't know anyone and everyone keeps asking each other yeah. why yeah. Debbie McGee is there. <laughs> get out! Get out! Go on, get out! Bro, bro just take it easy. <gasps> it was an anniversary oh, gift. I know, I know that. I know, I know, bro. I know, I know, bro. I know! So, Debbie, good childhood. Oh, she's gone. Seriously, what did I do to you? I don't know. Maybe just checking you weren't doing a prank. Well, I know it's you! Also, like, regarding the dick thing, can you make sure that the balls are really small, like a couple of grapes? Uh, maybe even raisins, really. Just put a big <laughs> monster goblin cock on top it's of that. Anniversary um, gift. Sorry just to want bother the you. balls to be Jordan, tiny. I mean, you bro. seem like a lovely young man. Bro, I just want the balls <laughs> to be small. <laughs> bro, so bro, so please. See Pay attention, I need people. to get that big dick. Is there an exit here? <laughs> please, <laughs> big dick, where, cheers, where please. Where can I get out? I just want the balls you to be small Jordan. as well. Jordan. Just sit there while I haven't got a massive dick when I could have a big dick. It was a gift of horrible bite. Bro, listen to me. I'm never getting out. I just want to have a big dick. Oh. 
Hello? Prick! For God's sake, Jordan! I'm sick of this! I rushed over to you because I thought you had a genuine emergency, but then I see you climbing into a bin to jump out and surprise me in your silly hat! It's relentless, Jordan, this constant need for attention, not just with this, but with everything. Always leaning on me, bringing every passing anxiety to me as if it's my problem to help you solve. You take and you take and you take and you give nothing back! Let me know when you're ready to be a functioning adult. Okay. Mrs. Gilmore, I'm sorry about your anniversary gift. I think about it to this day, and if I could go back in time and not do it, I probably still would do it, but with, like, an empty bottle or something, because it did look really cool the way it flew in. Debbie, don't know why you're here, but I'm really glad you are, because you're bringing a lot of joy to this show. Tits bear, I like having you around more than I'm willing to admit. Sunil, who doesn't hate me, I will get you your dick. Now let's finish this show. <laughs> I realised the magic was in me all along. And also the boxes where we kept all the tricks. Well, that's all we've got time for tonight. Give it up for my wonderful guests. And what a show to go out on. Thank you, and for the very last time, good night. We did it, man. Yeah, man. Proud of you. Thank you so much for your help. See you on the outside. Well, not you, you, but, you know, we'll work it out. Bye. Cheers for the big dick. Oh, no worries, any time. For fuck's sake. Tonight, coming to you live from his own coma. He just wants to wake up now. Please, God, somebody help him. It's Jordan Brooks. Hello. Hello.